What up, y'all, and welcome to Pensacola International Super Speedway for the eighth race in the NRSL Jerky Pro Truck Series 2022 season. We're gearing up for 30 laps of action here under the lights, and I'm joined by my man Vince Freeze as we've got a rookie on pole. Yeah, a good rookie on pole today. I expect a surprise. One of the last chances for a rookie to win, really, with the Super Speedway should be wide open. And as always, expect a wreck with these trucks physics early on in this race as as, as championship contenders. This could be big for Audrey and Cage. We'll see what happens with them back in the pack. Now, we said on the preseason show, I predicted one rookie win on the year. You predicted two. Uh, if we're, go- we're going to have two, I think a rookie's got to win today. And at Talladega in September, I'd say odds are good. They make up half the field. Um, so it's all just a matter of placement like we saw at Daytona when Enzo and Areza won. Let's go through the starting grid. Austin Tyler's on the front row with Chris White. Row two is another pair of rookies, Billy Kidd and Reggie Fogelman. Row three's got our Daytona winner, Enzo Nareza and Joshua Johnson. Row four's got PJ Vidal and Lane Sanders. And in row five, D-Line Ibrahimian and Owen Miles. So we will see three wide, four wide racing right out the gate. And uh, we have had pretty big wrecks here in the Jerky Pro Truck Series before. So if you can miss the big one, it's going to be big for your championship. You see Donovan Cage is starting at the back, but he's on the inside line. Audra is starting a little further ahead, but she is on the top, and so is Sam Young, and that's a place I would not want to be. Um, So 30-lap race, expecting one pit stop. Uh, Looking at the point standings coming into the the race, Audra's got a 64-point lead over Donovan Cage. 90 over Benjamin Ice, 92 over Sam Young, and 97 over Ibrahimium, who jumped up to fifth with his win, dating back to Martinsville, which was all the way back in May. It's been five weeks. Uh, Jerky Pro Truck Series action is back, and we've got four races in the month of July. So I hope the Jerky Pro drivers were well rested up, and hopefully none of them get too banged up here tonight uh, because they've got a lot of racing ahead of them this month. Let's go trackside for the command to fire engines. Drivers, start your engines! So as the field drives off pit road, vents past winners. Give them to me. Oh, you got it, buddy. Hold on a second. Yeah, we got Charles Sanford in 2017. 2018, we got James Qualls. 2019, we got Logan York. And 2020, Leon Fief. And the back, back to back with the rookies in 19 and 20. We weren't here in 21. Let's see if we can get a third rookie in 22. We'll find out. And like you said, man, this race is about placement. Audra on the top line could be interesting. Cage on the inside. And do you want to get shuffled lap one? We don't normally tend to see a wreck on lap one. It's lap two to three. Four wide to the top may not be a bad thing if you're in 28th or 30th. Go to the back and then kick your starter way back to the front. We'll find out. As indeed, when you look at those last two rookie wins, they were both driving a Chevy. Sanford, of course, with a Chevy in 2017. The only Toyota win here dating back to 2018. Now, Toyota has had some pretty good success on this super speedway. The one win from Qualls in 2018 here in trucks and then a win in the Cup Series in 2019 and last year. And, of course, they make up the first three starting positions. And a couple of other drivers there in the top ten there, Joshua Johnson. So it's going to be an exciting race. Don't make my tone of voice confuse you. But the anticipation is high. We're not even halfway through the season yet here in Jerky Pro like we are in Cup. This is only race 8 out of 18. But definitely a turning point here, Vince. Like you were saying for like Cage, for Audra. Um, if Audra survives and Cage and the others falter in a crash, this is going to extend her points lead big time. Um, but if she is involved in a crash and the others survive, it's really going to tighten up the championship battle. Pace trucks down pit road. Tyler leads them to the green flag, and we are underway. Now, there's a high wind tonight. 
So it's going to be interesting to see how the wind affects the trucks and where it affects them. If you're leading the pack, I expect that you're going to get slowed down a bit by the wind. I believe it's a northeast wind too, which is interesting. It's in the Reza, our Daytona winner is looking to waste no time. I'm not quite sure which direction across this track would be northeast, so that's why I'm looking to see where they get slowed down, if at all. As they're going 208 miles an hour here around the racetrack. The orderly start there. You see Auger back there. It's a little four wide. Fidel will lead it at the line. As they are four wide big time in the pack. I think it's getting close to that time where you want to be on the inside, man. This is usually lap two, three. Coming into one, two as Yael looks for the lead. And Vince, I want to say the northeast wind is blowing straight down the back straightaway because you saw drivers pick up about four miles an hour there down the back. And I want to say it's going to come against them down the front straightaway. Yeah, see, they are they're getting hit with the wind down the front down the back it's their ally still a ton of four wide there back in the pack as Carrillo races side by side with Benjamin Ice it looks like the outs four wide. looks like the outside line will come to play here tonight yeah there's Donovan Cage on the inside line I can see the top of Audra's truck there in the back of the pack as they're going to go four wide for the race lead. Oh, oh two rows deep. Oh, Mitchell Collins oh, is going to make it five oh. wide. For a brief minute. Second. No, we're still five wide, Peter Vidal. Oh, I don't know how much longer they're going to make this work. Mayhew leads at the line. Collins to his inside. They're leaning doors. There they go. Carrillo's around, and it's going to be a big wreck. Cage makes it through. Oh, it's junk. Ice is in it. Ibrahimium, Billy Kidd, Catano, Nereza, Joshua Johnson, Baran Askas was in it, and they're still piling in. Rob Bishop. Uh, Audra's truck looks like it's got damn. I can't really tell if she's got a ton of damage. But Sam Young made it through. And so did Donovan Cage. Looks like it's going to be Scott Roush leading them back to the caution flag. Now that has to be, I think, the biggest crash we've seen here since the 2020 playoff race. Jerky Pro had. Yeah, it was that wild wreck into the catch fence with Carter Friesen, I believe. Yep. Well, that all kind of started when Collins decided to go five wide, and they couldn't make it work once they got to the front straightaway. Now comes the pitch strategy equation. Let's see. It might be a little early, but. See both Gene and Henry Sanfer, they made it through. Looks like we still have a lot more trucks on track, though, than we did back in 2020. I'm very curious to see the extent of the 21's damage, if she has any at all. I'm not sure. She might have just got spun around hitting the brakes. But she looks pretty, pretty intact there, so I think she has survived this one. Will Parrish, our Talladega winner last year. And we got Chris White, Billy Kidd, Fogelman, Josh Johnson, Ice, Catano, Daniel Brown, Ron Bishop, Mason Dagger. All involved. Let's go take a look at what brought out the caution. Here we go, looking at the accident here from the point of P.J. Vidal. He was three wide with Lucas Catano and Jessica Strauss. And behind them, they were they were five wide as well. Oh, but it's Daniel Brown getting into Morris oh. Reeves that started this. 
And then it was on from there, and oh my gosh, look at all the trucks going up the track. Look at Joshua Johnson, Benjamin Ice, and more. Johnson's going to flip over here. Bishop's going to Bishop. go up the track in the Vidal. There you see Audra. She makes contact with Chris White, and Ooh. that spins Chris White around. And oh, that. Yeah, I don't know lot. how much damage that is for Audra. And then Johnson's going to barrel it down the banking. And Billy Kidd's going to get pushed over there by Fulgham at the end of the wreck. Johnson look, on top of Bishop. Look at Austin First Tyler time. and uh, Roger oh. James. Oh, wow. What is this? That yeah. was. Uh, it Dagger slammed them. See, the 74, though, and the 54, top right of the screen, Vince, they both slammed the brakes it to miss this thing. So good work on them. Look at this. The one starts to flip, and it lifts the 51, and then, oh, man, Mason Dagger just crammed. The back bumper of Chris White. Oh, we have got a ton of onboards to take, so let's take them. On board with Benjamin Ice. Yeah, that's the end of his night right there. On board with Lucas Catano. His race is over. On board with Enzo Nereza. made it through there and then got into the 11 of Chris White. She'll turn her truck around and keep it moving straight. Let's get you guys to the race restart. Getting ready to go back racing. A lot of people elected to stay out. Brad Lewis leads. Mitchell Collins second. Cody Maggart third. We're hearing the two of Brandon Mayhew who stayed out has a flat so he'll be pitting here coming to the restart. Hayes Green will be fourth. Cage fifth. Holton 6th, Jack James 7th, Sam Young 8th, Max Anderson 9th, and Pat Johnson the top 10. Uh, through Roy Ribbleton are the drivers who elected to stay out under this caution. You see Audra Baranowskis in 25th, and uh, Billy Kidd was tipped over under that accident, but his truck is pretty intact, so he will be continuing two laps down. So now the pit window, we believe, is about 14 to 16, so the... 16 drivers that stayed out. They'll at least have a bunch of draft help. Well, 15 drivers as Mayhew's going to pit for the flat. Where is Billy Kidd going? He beat the leader almost. <laughs> that might get him a black flag. Oh, by the way, out of the race, Enzo Nereza will perish. Delon Ibrahimium. Morris Reeves, Yael Carrillo, PJ Vidal, Mason Dagger, Ron Bishop, Benjamin Ice. Big hurt for Ice's championship bid there. Lucas Catano, Joshua Johnson, Chris White, Reggie Fogelman, and Daniel Brown. That leaves us with 28 trucks on track. Big separation, yeah. That's from the 19. Oh, they're pitting. Hayes Green's going to pit right away after staying out under yellow. Well, if you're going to stay out under yellow, you should at least go to halfway. Three wide for the race lead. It's Holton, Collins, and Lewis. Yeah, I don't 
understand that call, but unless there was a restart violation, I highly doubt that. Nope, it was a two-tire pit stop. Oh, look at the huge coming. run they're getting here on the top three. Nowhere to go with it, though. They're all going to form up here two wide by two wide. You see Audra at the back of the draft, so still a big opportunity here for Donovan Cage to gain points because I don't think Baranowska's truck has the pace to score a top 10 finish here tonight. That is big for Donovan Cage. When you look at the points, Audra's got five top 10s, five top fives on the year. Cage, four and four. But the average finish difference is seven positions. So if your cage finished great at Daytona, you see Audra's going to lose draft with Billy Kidd. So this is big, big, big for the championship. There's four wide up here, too. It's getting regressive. It's not over yet. It's Mayhew and Henry come out. Mayhew and Green are still lead lap. they got to hope for a caution. One of them could get... The, the free pass. But it's three wide for the race lead. Roush, Johnson, and Christian Russell, who we saw good speed out of in the All-Star Showdown as he also drives for Front Row Motorsports in the Digital Storm Cup Series. I see, Vince, one thing I'm, I'm thinking here Due to the number of drivers that stayed out under caution, once they start to pit, I think this race could go green the rest of the way. But right now we're in that period where there's enough trucks to go four wide, so we could have a caution. But once, the dri once these drivers start pitting, it's going to split this pack up out of the uh, 10 people that are up to speed that pit on their yellow. Yeah, I agree, and I think it's all about placement still, man. Oh, and they're going to wreck! Donovan Cage is one of them. Where are they going? Oh, man, that's going to be big. Nope, there's a the caution. No caution. Whoa, 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 they saved that? No caution? There's Gene Sanford and Donovan Cage and Jack James. No they caution. They saved it. I'll have to get a replay of that later. I don't know if they saved it or if there just wasn't anybody coming for Gene Sanfer while Gene Sanfer was spun out. It was off the racing surface, though, so that could have been why. But I thought for sure they were going to come back up the track and take out the back half of the pack. I will eliminate Dominic, Donovan Cage for the win tonight. I don't see how he can make the time up now. No, there's, yeah, there's no way. So that's big for Audra. Audra actually got by the eight. So I think the eight has come to pit road. Yeah, the eight definitely hit the wall. Oh, and the 74's got an engine issue. Oh, oh yeah, Roger, yeah. James, man, after just missing that big crash, they got a cylinder down or something. All kinds of stuff happening as Winnie Calhoun takes the race lead. But the 8 and the 13 pit from that incident. Donovan Cage stayed out. Coming up to lap the 77 of Hayes Green. Or why Mitch Collins. Hold. Now Donovan Cage is the one in need of a yellow. Calhoun, Holton, and Strauss are all looking high and... It's going to work for Calhoun. Holton dropped back down low. He'll get by fine as well as they put the 77 one lap down. If stops are coming for that first pack that didn't pick too, uh, that didn't pit, excuse me, that could be big. And they're four, three, four wide behind them, so this could get hairy. No signs of, oh, yep, Sam Young's in. You don't want to pit by yourself, though. Now, here's the other thing to consider, Vince. If you're stuck on the outside line here, it is impossible to get down pit road. How many trucks could we see run out of gas here? 
We saw it in the All-Star race a couple run out. Marty Johnson was the big one. He made that ridiculous strategy. It could be possible as they're going on Mayhew soon. I think you can make it 15, maybe 16. But any further than that, and I think you're going to run out. I think we're going to start seeing more come in the next couple laps here, though. I'm seeing some room be given here as they're four wide again. Now they're oh, catching yes. Gene Sanford and Mayhew at the same time. That's going to check up the pack. <clears throat> and here come a bunch of drivers. You got Ribbleton, Lane Sanders, Brad Lewis, Max Anderson, Blaine Saylor, and Hunter Braxton all coming down pit road. As Donovan Cage pit last time by. Donovan Cage, though, he's, he's fixing damage too, Vince. So no caution thrown for that incident. Bit of a head scratcher as it looks like all the trucks that were involved in that got in the wall either on the inside of the track and or the outside of the track. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to take a replay. That was crazy, but looks like some more are coming in. <clears throat> coming to 14 to go. I'm not sure anybody else can make it past this lap. You see Mitchell Collins, he's going to pit. Jack Holton's going to pit. I don't think that's everybody. I didn't really get a good head count, but... Now Pat Johnson's still out there. I think someone else. Henry Sanford stayed out, I believe. Roush, maybe? No, Roush pit. Oh, okay. We, we've got... We've got 11 trucks in this pack, and I think it's just down to the 87 and... The 87 and somebody, 87 and the 12, I think, are the only other two left. Actually, maybe the 75 of Magrick. I think he stayed out, and he looks like he might be running out of gas. Yeah, he's out. Actually, Henry Sanford already pit. No, Henry, Henry Sanford's out of fuel. Yep, they could they stretched it one lap too long. That's going to take him out of the bid for this one. And that really hurt. Several drivers, Austin Tyler, Hayes Green. Well, Hayes Green's a left down, but Scott Roush. This is the pack right here, Winnie Calhoun. Several others. We, all got a pit. we expect them to pit around lap 22, I believe. See how much time they're able to save by taking less than a full tank. But right now, the leader of the group that pit is Roy Ribbleton. Because they got a pack kind of forming up here in front of them. We've got Sam Young, Anderson, and Saylor catching Mitch. Mitchell Collins. And then Ribbleton, Brad Lewis, and Lane Sanders, plus Jack Holton. Uh oh, what is this? It looks like Audra wants to pit, but Henry Sanford's out of gas. Uh -oh, oh, no. This could be bad. Winnie Calhoun's coming in. Russell, Strauss, Ream. Audra's trying to push Henry Sanford to pit road, but it's killing her race here. Well, I guess she was already at the bottom of the running order, so it's not going to hurt her too much. So who is the leader now? 92. Where is Delello? There's Delello. It's Delello and Owen Miles who stayed out there, plus Roush. Hunter Braxton's clipping the apron a bit there. I think the 92 and the 23 are going to pit this time by. So they did not make it as far as I thought they would. But it looks like they're taking less fuel. They're only having 12 second pit stops here. So that's going to help them out in the finish of this race as Delello and Miles will pit. Here comes Scott Roush as well. And with that, everyone can make it to the end. Let's see who's the leader. This could be big. Well, here comes Winnie Calhoun. These drivers are a lap down from incidents. Winnie Calhoun, Strauss, Ream, Tyler all coming out. There's Ribbleton in his pack. So see, three seconds, man, helped. Helped him a helped her a lot. So Calhoun is currently the provisional leader. As it looks like the Lello will just beat out Owen Miles. Scott Roush still out of range. Here goes Donovan Cage to be on the lead lap. 
Donovan Cage is currently running 22nd. Audra, 24th. Lello and Miles will come back on the track as the top two. Roush will actually be third. Maybe not, maybe not. Calhoun will catch. Oh, aggressive. Jack James is a lap down, so Roush should get in draft here with Calhoun. And then it's Miles and the Lello racing for the win right now. Strauss is in fifth by herself. Ribbleton is slowly catching. And if Holton, Tyler, and Lane Sanders can pack up with Reem and Anderson, plus all these guys right behind oh, them, yeah. this could get quite interesting. Right now, it's Miles and Delello about to lap Cage, and Cage is slowing them up. But it's 10 seconds back to that pack with 10 to go. So it's going to take a lot of effort for them to close the distance. I think the, th the, th the three right there can catch them. If Donovan Cage does a great job holding them up, though, <laughs> we'll see. So we talked about rookie winners, Vince Miles and DeLello are not rookies. They are second-year drivers like Enzo Nereza. Could it be the year of the second years winning on the super speedways? We'll see. I think Calhoun and Roush, they, they need more help, though. I don't think that's going to be enough help unless Cage really does a masterful job of playing Oh, they're coming. Oh, yeah, he's doing a great job. Roush is getting a big push from Jack James, who's a lap down. That's letting them close big time. Seconds, man. The pack behind closed about a second and two tenths. That's Austin Tyler leading that group. So we'll have to see what they can do. See Calhoun's peeking to the inside of the 13, but nothing going. They're still stuck behind Donovan Cage. Miles is on the inside by himself versus the damaged six and the, the healthy 92. And here we go. This is going to turn this into a bigger pack. Roush is going to go right to the inside. Now Jack James is peeking. Winnie Calhoun's going with him. Jack James being a lap down. His goal here is to get a four to win. Cage's goal is to get a Chevy to win. Now you see with more more trucks to draft with, Donovan Cage and DeLello go backwards. So DeLello will finally get down under the six. The gap back to Ribbleton is seven seconds. It's doable, man. It's doable. If they keep battling like this, it's not over. And they are really packed up behind them, though. It's going to take some formation back there to catch these drivers. For a lapper. Well, you got Brandon Mayhew and Billy Kidd oh. coming up. Billy Kidd is pretty off pace. He just came out of pit road. I think pit road. One of them did, yeah. He's green, made his final stop of the night. Now, Roush is a rookie in the truck series, as he has not run down here before. But he does have a year of cup where he missed a ton of races last year. But he is technically a rookie down here. Looking to give Ford their first win ever at this track. Ford has never won in neither series, neither Jerky Pro, neither Digital Storm. I think it's going to be who gets around Billy Kidd could be a big part of this race. See the big pack that time by only gained about a tenth of a second as this pack has formed up a bit. There you see Calhoun with the move and now Miles with the move at six to go. But Billy Kidd will. Oh, Billy Kidd's going to stack up everybody but Scott Roush. Got the sit and duck too once they get back to him for oh, sure. This is going to let the pack close up big oh, time. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Lane Sanders. They got to get around Hayes Green. They got to get around the 77. The best way possible here, though. If they get held up by the 77. Oh, Gene Sanford just came out of pit road. And now Roush catches Mayhew by himself. He'll just slow up to draft off the two. We know the two is a clean race truck. Any other lappers up ahead? Oh, we got Roger James. Who is yeah, super off pace. Oh, this man should probably be parked. 
I think it's too late, though. They're going to catch him this lap. Didn't even think about his engine damage, Vince. It's part of the game, man. Now they're down to 5.4. They're within four seconds of uh, Willie Calhoun. This, I think it's possible. This might get a little sketchy. Oh, no. This is... Yep, they're going to slam the brakes. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's Second really going to hurt Roush and... That hurt Roush and uh, Miles the most. That let Calhoun and DeLello go right by. But the 74 will pit. So now the big pack behind them won't get held up at all. Oh, this is going to be interesting now, man. It's down to four seconds. You can blame the race officials on this one. But that 74 needed to go out of the... Get off the track. <laughs> I don't think they're catching Henry Sanford. I, that's going to create a huge run for Owen Miles. He's going to go right by Zachary Delello here. Donovan Cage has a big run, even though he's a lap down. Cage is currently 20th. Baranowskis is 24th, so he's still gaining four points on her. It's something. Where's Ra I think Rash is just going to get swallowed up by a second pack. Oh, he's got a big run. Now the pack Billy caught. Kidd's holding him up. Yeah, they caught Billy Kidd and Gene Sanford. Oh, and Jack oh. James just pit, but he was a lap down. That's going to cost them starting. a drafter, though. Three laps to go. I don't know, Vince. I think the pack's going to catch him, but I don't think anybody in that pack's going to be able to challenge for the win. He had a fuel? Oh, no, I don't think so. Who, the 13? No, I think he just can't make it. Oh, well, that might be concerning. Did they fill it up enough? Saw that in the All-Star race where some people did not make it to the end of the race. If someone picks out of that big pack, though, it's going to kill their momentum. We're coming to two laps to go this time by. Calhoun is the leader. Scott Roush made a lot of seconds there. I think he's got a chance if he plays it right. No one's pitting here. No one's going to pit out of this group either. Ribbleton leads them with Lewis behind them. Sanders is making, looking for a move. So is Mitchell Collins. They gained nothing that time by as the front that pack is, is formed up in comparison. It's going to come down to where the two and the six go. If they stay on the inside line, I think it's over for the uh, outside. Right now it's Roush pushing, pushing Winnie Calhoun. Miles now got put three wide in the middle by DeLello. He's got no help. Four wide. Mayhew's trying to maybe get a Chevy to win here. He's going to make it four wide, even though he's not in the running. That just put Winnie Calhoun up top three wide by herself. That's going to kill her chance at this. Coming to the white flag. One lap to go around Pensacola. And the Lello's got a lap truck between him and Owen Miles. Those Owen Miles is going to make the move. GMS teammates. Miles goes to the inside of Mayhew. Roush with a push. Calhoun stuck on the outside of Cage. I think her shot is over. It's going to come down to one of these three. Got to drag the break if you're Miles. That's the only way you're going to win this race. And you get a big slingshot down the back as they go for the final time. There goes Miles. There goes Scott the Roush. Three Double wide. Side Roush. DeLello's going to lose it. Side by side now is Roush and Miles. Calhoun, Mayhew, pushing the both of them. Advantage, Scott Roush. Does Miles get a run off the corner? Here we come oh, yeah, to the he checkered is. flag. It's going to be Roush by a nose. What a photo finish. It's been a while since we've had a photo finish, Vince. But we've had a lot of them this year. Yeah, it's been a fun year, man, in terms of that last lap. And Woo, yeah. six one thousandths of a second. And there's Let's that rookie win. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, it looks like we did have some late pitters there. The 88 of Max Anderson. Man, his season has had no luck. And the 45 of Blaine Saylor. Waiting for results to be official, but it looks like Donovan Cage, 21st. Baran Auskas, 25th. Henry Sanford, 24th. Sam Young, I think, did the best out of our drivers at the top of the point standings. He finished 12th. 
But your top 10, Scott Roush for the win, Owen Miles second, Winnie Calhoun third, Delello fourth, Brad Lewis fifth, Roy, Roy Ribbleton, Jessica Strauss, Austin Tyler, Cody Magarick, and Bradley Ream. That's the top 10 here tonight. So we got to go look at that incident there with Donovan Cage, Jack James, and Gene Sanford. So let's get on it. So here's what happened. The Donovan Cage, he was in the middle four wide with Gene Sanford, and they were not even. And they're just going to make contact here, and they're going to shoot down to the left, which is not something we usually see happen here at this racetrack. And they're going to shoot right down into Jack James. That gets the right sides of the 13 up off the track, and you see they just keep Ooh. coming down, keep coming down. The eight's going to get spun here. So they're off the racing surface. So no need for a yellow here. Donovan's still pushing the eight. And then right there when they're back on the track. Yeah, so the eight, the eight never went around, and she just kind of bounces it off the wall. So, yeah, I guess good call there by not throwing the yellow. There was no need to. They, they straightened it out once they got back on the track. That's insane. Well, that's going to do it for us here tonight. We'll see y'all tomorrow night. As your race winner here tonight was Scott Roush. Uh, Vince, I don't believe he made the race, correct? I think you got that right now, right? Can you double check that for me? I don't think he made the cup race this weekend. Uh, no, he was way off. Yep. Yeah, okay. So Scott Roush got the highlight of his weekend by winning the Jerky Pro Truck Series race here tonight. So we'll see you guys tomorrow night for 40 laps of action. See you then.